<sighs> so we were at the highest point over there, but and it's beautiful. But I think it's a little bit more beautiful once you get over the peak. I think this side's a bit nicer. It's one of the most beautiful things you can see in life, in my opinion, is, is uh, being above the cloud line, or being close to the cloud line, but above it. It's beautiful in, a, it's beautiful in an airplane, right? When you're flying along, you look out, and it's just a sea of white. I love that, that sight. But it's, it, it's, it's, uh, it's different experiencing it on the outside, you know? And this road is gonna be heading down from here even though it looks like it's contradicting me. But in, you know, in a little bit, we're gonna be heading down. And then once we start heading down, we'll get closer and closer to, the, to, that, to that line. And then we'll plunge into it, and then it's just gonna be darkness and wet, to be honest. Speaking of darkness and wet, I haven't had sex in a while. There's, I told you, there's a path. There's like a, there's like a hut at the top of this thing. And this guy was, he was saying there must be some way to get to there. And I'm like, it looks like there's a path next to the road. Sure enough, there is. There's like a, that's probably, that, that hut is probably like the highest, it'd be nice. Cause we, could, we could see it from the highest point and it was higher than the highest point. Like the highest point of the road. And that hut or observatory was higher than, quite a bit higher. So he was saying and that, that's, oh, there's a path right there as well. It's a neat looking path. It's a very British looking path, like just like a rocky. It's like a rocky kind of ancient. In another video, I asked. Why do trees stop at the tree line? Like, what, what is it about the tree line that stops trees from growing higher than that? Did anybody answer that question? Are we still thinking about it? it could be wind too, right? Because you get a lot of like sheer winds blasting against the side of the high mountain tops and stops the sea. I don't know. Talking on my ass. Ooh. Yeah, so this guy's lucky. He hired me for three days, and we and this is the weather for the entire three days that he hired me. You know, we I lent him rain gear, and I brought along my own rain gear, and we're all rain geared up. But it doesn't look like we're gonna. Actually, he's wearing his rain jacket just to keep the cold at bay. It's nice. And look at this newly paved road. Uh, that's one thing about Taiwan, guys. They are on top of their roads. Like, not only are they, are they constantly repairing them and keeping them in, and keeping them like somewhat well maintained, they uh, they also build new ones like constantly. Like, uh, for example, when I take the highway, when I'm in my car and I take the highway to go to uh, Taipei City, the capital, sometimes there's traffic, but it's not. It's not ridiculous. It's just like rush hour. At rush hour, it's pretty bad. So at rush hour, I just avoid rush hour. But there's some people that work, you know, and they can't avoid rush hour. Oh, isn't that that man? Check it out. Check out the road we're doing. Here's our road winding down. There's the road right there, the Obion. And then in the distance, you can see the road going off, 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 off. You guys jealous? You should be. Um, how far is this from my house? This is about... Hmm. It, by car, because you can take the highway, it's only about four hours, three or four hours from my house. By scooter, well, you can't take, or, or scooter, you can't take the highway. Um, it'd be about six, five or maybe six, and then of like actual riding time, and then you stop for breaks and stuff, and like so it'd be longer. Um, and but my motorcycle, very recently. Uh, I think in the very near future, they're going to open up the highways to motorcycles, to, to big motorcycles. And it's a completely new thing. And that means that uh, I'll be able to get on my Ninja and shoot down to the beginning of this road, the, the base of the mountain, like the, the lowest point of these mountain roads, in like just over an hour. And then I'll be able to get up here in another two hours. It'll take me like three hours to get here on my Ninja. 
probably be less because I'll be, you know, I, 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 I'll be moving quicker than a car would, or anything else. Would. These roads are fairly windy, but they're also fairly wide. Uh, on the on the on the way back, we're going to be doing some more mountain roads that go pretty high, and they go all the way up to the, they go all the way up to the cloud level, but not over it. So when you're at the highest point, you're kind of like in those clouds, and then you come back down again. Uh, and we're going to be doing a road like that on the way back, but that road is like it's about um, it's about 25. That road is about 25 percent thinner than this one. And it's a, it's a pretty dangerous road, but it's it's also seldom used because there's better alternatives. There's much safer. It's much safer alternatives. Hopefully you heard my honk. <clears throat> I ride in front, take some of the danger on myself of oncoming vehicles, and then I honk to let him know. And it's fairly quiet up here, so he probably hears it. I got a bit of a headache from the alt altitude, it's called altitude sickness, just from like the lack of oxygen. As we travel down, my headache is supposedly supposed to just disappear. I need some water in me too. Anyways, sorry. Do you need some water or anything? I got water, but you want something? I, I, I should probably hydrate myself. Have some water? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. You can go ahead and look at that view if you want while I get water. gonna fucking steal a scooter up here. <laughs> I take my key out. I'm like, who's gonna steal it? They're, like, they're gonna like ditch their bikes and hop on my scooter. Give me a break. <laughs> 